Hi guys and welcome to a play review today on Man of the Match John Stead who earned his uh, Man of the Match card by a fantastic 4-2 victory for Bradford away at Chelsea in the Capital One Cup in which he scored the first goal in that game for Bradford. Uh, I'm not too sure if he got any assists or not but I do believe he got Man of the Match as well in that game. So let's jump straight into this play review. He plays first Bradford City in the Football League One which is a Sky Bet League One. Um, in England and he is English. Um, I bought it for 255k, six foot three. He's got high medium work rates, two star weak foot and three star skill moves. I played five games with him and scored ten goals. So yeah, let's jump straight to the review and let's start up off with his pace. Um, Stead is a big lad, six foot three. That is quite tall for a striker. And um, to be honest, his pace. You look at that stat and you think it is poor, and let's be honest guys, it is very, very poor. He's too big uh, to run with the ball, and he's slow as it is, he can't really move his legs, but he's not that type of player, you know, so uh, if you know how to play with Stead, he could be in a very, very effective striker, but if you want to use pace in your strikers and you like pacey teams, um, do not go for John Stead. Um, 62 dribbling, his dribbling is okay, I would say his ball control is decent. Um, and his strength's decent as well, but um, I think it's his pace that just brings it down. He's just not effective to dribble with him, really. I mean, he has got three star skills, which isn't the best, but isn't the, as bad as two star skills, I suppose, which um, is really unplayable for me, to be honest. Uh, but he's six foot three as well, so it's going to be difficult for him to uh, dribble with the ball. Moving on to his shooting, 69 shooting. With his right foot in the box, he is absolutely deadly. He's so clinical in the box. Scores nearly every chance you get, um, which shows, which you can see in the uh, goals to game ratio, which is two, obviously, for 10 games, uh, 10 goals in five games, which is very, very decent. Um, and outside the box, um, his long shots stead, they were fairly decent, actually. I scored a really good one. Um, they don't go in every time, they're not world class or they're not brilliant or anything by any means but you will be able to definitely score long shots with John Stead and his volleys as well in the box were fairly decent and made the keepers pull out a couple of decent saves um, so yeah let's move on to his passing um, 68 passing, he's got very good vision John Stead for some reason uh, he's actually I'm very, very surprised, should I say, that he hasn't got an assist in any of his games because the amount of goals he was actually involved in but didn't get an assist for is unbelievable. He was involved in nearly every single team goal I scored. Uh, the majority of the goals did actually come from Stead, but um, he was involved in nearly every single goal, so um, credit to him there with him being a big lad and a striker, which you wouldn't really think he would be good at passing, but to be honest, his passing is actually one of his main uh, attributes in his card, and 64 physical, to be honest, it actually should be higher. If you think about his heading, he has got 82 heading accuracy, being his best in-game stat, which is very, very good. And um, he's six foot three as well, so he's good at heading, and he's got the height as well. I was going to say I can't remember what he's jumping is, but I think he's around the 70 region, so that is decent. I, as you say, combined with your height, you're not going to miss many headers, especially when you've got good accuracy as well, um, and rarely gets beaten in the air. So. Um, yeah, we'll move on to his weak foot right now, actually. Um, his weak foot is awful, Jesus Christ. His left foot is really bad. Don't try to take a shot with his left foot, inside or outside of the box, because trust me, nine times out of ten, it's not going to go in. Um, I found his weak foot a real pain, actually. It was really hard to um, to use and uh, quite annoyed me. Three-star skills, though, um, you can, as, you can, as I say, if you are a skiller, um, it's not the best for you, obviously. I, I actually use quite a bit of skill in the game. I use like four-star skillers. Um, I can, I really enjoy using them, and the five-star skillers. Everyone does. Let's be honest. If you know a couple of skills on the game, but anything well below three, I'm not too keen about. So I suppose it's not a negative or it's not a positive either from Stead. But with him being six foot three, I thought he may have had two-star skills because he's not the most mobile player in the world. Um, which I forgot to talk about his agility is very very poor in his pace and his dribbling um, but yeah basically guys what you can expect with John Stead I'll talk about the pros um, he's got he's a great finisher in the box he's very good at heading he can jump um, he's got good vision and passing and he's quite strong and um, decent work rates and heights um, another thing 
I might as well throw in there as well is that um, he's got an orange card and man of the match card. Who wouldn't like having one of those in their team? Moving on to their negatives, though, his pace is very, very poor. His dribbling isn't the best. His weak foot is a real letdown. And uh, his price, let's be honest, uh, who's going to want to pay 255k for a bronze card at the end of the day when you could buy a very, very good goal striker with that sort of coins? So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to leave you with some goals now that I scored with John Stead. I hope you have enjoyed this review. And yeah, bye for now. Oh, what a fucking head instead.